to write. Max Freddy Fender appears in concert. He also a short concert from the Grand Ole Opry from more than 25 years ago with Kitty Wells, Tom Ball and the Blaze Brothers, Patsy Cline, Bill Monroe, and Roy Aker. Not to be missed that. What's more with new releases, old favourites. I think we should leave the in for four, so the table comes to the table. Two, and I'll be Yet it's uh, very unfinished, but nevertheless, it will uh, one day, ten years' time perhaps, it will be completed.
lights. We had a bit of go on with Pendra. This one was built on three levels. Level one was the garages. This is level two, the outside of it anyway. And we'll work our way inside. And through this door we have the laundry. Okay, so here we are coming into the laundry. You can see because there's a washing machine and a dryer and an ironing board. And in there, good gracious, is a toilet. And in there, there will subsequently be a shower. One day. And on this bit here, there will be a door. One day. In fact, if you look over on the far side, you can see it against the wall. Isn't that nice? Okay. So here we are in the downstairs area. And uh, the stairs are over there, but we won't go there yet. We'll, we'll go over in this direction and have a look around this corner. That is, um, at the moment, the sewing room. And uh, it's where the washing is folded. And out here, we can see there's a wrench slider which is um, the deck, leads onto the deck where we were just standing. Okay, and for Rob's benefit, I will just, hang on, how do I get it? I forgot, zoom, zoom onto the top of, um, oh yes, that's Rangy Toto over there. There you go, Bob, you know that. Okay, so this is the downstairs area, as yet unfinished, as you can tell, because there's no wallpaper and no curtains, and the poles are still bare, and there's an old saw on the wall over what to, what um, passes for the bar. Uh, okay, so all this is a parrot there too. Gracious me. So, we go over towards the stairs, oh, there's a piano as well, amazing, isn't it? Who's on the piano, I wonder? Good gracious. Who at the pot there? I don't recognise any of them. Who's oh, that couple next to them? Good gracious. Looks like a uh, golden wedding to me. Right, off upstairs. If I can keep the camera reasonably steady, otherwise I might uh, have a slight problem. Here we go, up the stairs, as you can see, the, uh, the walls aren't lined totally down there, but still, they are upstairs. So, here we are upstairs, and we will go through to the kitchen. So, we go hard left here, and in fact, there's the back door at the top of the stairs, so I'll I'll go out there for a start and we'll just have a wander outside and um, see what we can see. Well, I don't know if you can pick it out, but there's a, a lump of land over there. We're looking due east here, and some of you might say, well, that's South America, but you'd be totally wrong. It's in fact the Coromandel Peninsula, which is about uh, 30 miles away. Swing round. And some of the inner islands over here that you go. And once again, Bob, for your benefit, the ubiquitous cone of Rangitoto Island. There we are, and again, all the way back. A few of the smaller islands there, and that big lump of land over the other side. Okay, let's just have a walk around this bit, shall we? Just put it down so I can see where I'm going. You can see the pots of paint there, of course. And we'll have a walk around here. And you'll be able to get some idea of the height looking downwards. You've seen it looking upwards. But uh, there you can see. But um, we are quite high here. It's a long way down. Of a long way down and a long way up there. 
and that in the foreground is Torbay. Our old house is somewhere just over the hill in that direction, about um, 500 metres away, over the hill and down a bit, and that's the old place. That's the uh, school next door. And there's another lunch slider. We'll probably work out that we've got the same cameraman. Oh yes, there he is. Okay. Go over to this end and uh, see that over the back there. Quite a large subdivision being developed. Chicken sitting on some eggs and a window to look out of as well. That's not bad, is it? And right next door to that we have the dining room with the inevitable dining table and the inevitable window. And if we go there we can, oh, that's a picture that. Uh, Simon very kindly gave to us for Christmas, or just after Christmas when we moved in. So, uh, yes, there it is, a picture. We didn't quite know what to make of it when it first arrived, but it, uh, it grows on you, I can assure you. And there we are, looking out the window. And if we swing it round, we can see the rest of the lounge. With a clock over there somewhere. And um, the cabinets and the seating arrangements uh, oh and our television as well and over in the far corner there are all sorts of photos adorning the walls some of which you will no doubt uh, be familiar with oh good gracious man and that one as well Oh, good God, who are those two? And there's uh, some of the other side over here. Oh, that one as well. Oh, that's, um, yes. Well, her ladyship when she was a baby. And, oh yes, Simon going off the wall. Okay. So there we are. We can uh, follow the ground from this end. And that is the lounge. Onward. Making sure I don't trip myself up. Okay, first left is the spare bedroom. Yeah, there's one spare bedroom with a window and some curtains and pictures on the walls and the bed. Okay, and of course, directly opposite there are the stairs, which we came up before. And this time we'll go right, and we find ourselves in the bathroom, good gracious, with um, a bath, with a shower over it. Of course, the other shower will be downstairs when, uh, when I've got some money. Okay, out of the bathroom, and we'll go right again, and good gracious, what on earth is that? Need one in every home, don't we? Or probably two in many homes. Okay, so from there we go into Ian's bedroom. Which, um, for a change, looks reasonably tidy. 
Gracious me, what can he see out of his window? Well, next door. And of course, you guessed it. The thing that dominates the skylight in Auckland, and there it is again. I suppose next time we walk up to the top of that, we'll have to look out for this place. It should be visible. We can see that, then um, it should see us. And there's next door's house. Okay, so out of the inn's bedroom. Hang on, there's another window. Out of that, what can we see? Well, we can see the back garden, which uh, needs a good tidy up. But I haven't done it yet. So, out of the inn's bedroom. And I think we'll go to John's bedroom this time, just over here. And there it is, John's bedroom, complete with box set up. So it's inevitably. Okay, and uh, there's pictures on the walls and uh, all sorts of things. And of course, you have a different telephone. God, there's that cameraman again. Oh dear, what can John see out his bedroom? Well, Basically, the school field with a bit of trumpet wandering along it. Um, behind that, his girlfriend used to live in a house, um, hang on, where is it? Just over there, that one right in the middle. But he's not going out with her anymore, so it's not his girlfriend's house. Well, well it's his ex girlfriend's house. Gracious me. What on earth is that skirt? Looks um, quite short, doesn't it? Disgustingly short. Shouldn't be allowed. Not when I've got a camera anyway. Right, let's carry on. I have to digress for a moment or two, but not for a long time. Okay, so we're out of John's room. And onward into our room, which is just here, right at the end of the house. Oh, so the cat sitting in the sunshine. Hello, cat. Right, there's our room. There. Looks like a bedroom to me. Behind me is the wardrobe, which I'm not going to show you because it hasn't got a door on it yet. And uh, there we are. One bed, one cat, one window, which looks out the same way as John's. Some pictures. And uh, there it is, the wardrobe without the door. Just a quick glance. Oh, there's Ian and his girlfriend. It's young Ian on their way to a ball. Right, we will now go out of this door, which I have just opened. As you can see, just here there is a little deck, which um, is ours. side of the house to the front. Over the road. Okay. So that's that. on one side, two sides maybe. On one side we've got the field over there and the school. Um, out the front we've got the road and uh, we look over everybody's house. So uh, it's, it's quite pleasant really. Right, back inside. Let's see if we can trip over the moggy. Well, there we are. Let's a uh, conducted tour of the house. Um, the finished parts, the unfound yard. What on earth is that? Looks like a death cat to me. Oh, it's a 
theory thing. What a great theory, Moggy. Right, well, here we are back in the lounge. And. Round and round we go. The other view of the kitchen from the lounge end. Back door over there. And. That, I think, is about it. Put plates on the wall. Right. Well, there we are then. That's the house. Okay, good. Super. I shall just zoom in somewhere now to see how about the coromandel. Just to finish off. And there it is. A big lump of land. 